the 49ers and quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo have agreed to a five-year, $137.5 million contract. Speaking of $100 million, that's $27.5 million a year for the next five years. Now, I haven't seen the terms exactly broken out. What's a signing bonus? What's officially guaranteed? You know how these NFL contracts work. You can hear a big number, and then only a couple of the years are you likely to get the money or anything else. So you don't know exactly what the overall outcome is going to be. But if I am Aaron Rodgers, if I am anybody out there in the world of quarterbacking whose agent is uh, is representing a big-time quarterback, I love this. Don't begrudge people who make money. Try to make the money that they do. You want to know the difference between a helicopter dick and a mosquito dick is. A mosquito dick looks at what other people make and says they aren't worth it. A helicopter dick says, if you're worth that money, then I'm worth more. All right? Think like a helicopter dick, not like a mosquito dick. That's an important distinction there. Because a lot of people in America, when they hear somebody makes a salary, they think, oh my God, that person isn't worth that. I don't think that. I think if that person's worth that, then I'm going to make more than they are. That's America, baby. That's the market. Think like a helicopter dick. Don't worry about what other people have. Look at them as motivation. Say, good for them. If they can do that, then I can do it too. And if you think like a mosquito dick, you say, oh, she doesn't deserve that. She doesn't deserve to make that. He doesn't deserve to make that. No, 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 no. Think like a helicopter dick. God bless them for taking advantage of their high-end market rate. I want to do the same thing. And that's how I would think if I were a quarterback right now. Now, a lot of people react to Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, here's the other thing. If I am John Lynch or I am the owner of the 49ers and I'm sitting back looking at that number, I just say, man, this is a big risk based on a relatively limited sample size. People went after Matthew Stafford when he got a $27 million contract. When Matthew Stafford got, I love the the logo there, when Matthew Stafford got a $27 million contract, there was a long list of games that Matthew Stafford had played at a high level at. Now, some of you don't believe in Matthew Stafford and the Lions. I understand that argument. But Matthew Stafford did really, really well as the overall performer for the Detroit Lions. So you had a pretty good sense what was going to happen when you gave him more money. Jimmy Garoppolo, there is only seven games of game film, effectively, on him to even know what his value is. And so I just get a little bit nervous because there's been a lot of quarterbacks who've had seven-game stretches where they looked great. Was it Matt Flynn who came in and threw for 500 yards when Aaron Rodgers wasn't in the game? And everybody said, my God, Matt Flynn looks like he's unstoppable. We've got to sign him to a massive deal. And then the Seahawks went out and signed Matt Flynn to a big deal. Actually, Matt Flynn was about to move into my neighborhood out here in Nashville. And then he pulled out at the last minute after he made an offer down the road for me in the, in the neighborhood. I saw him this past summer at a big event. But Matt Flynn, I think, got like $18 million guaranteed, didn't he? Somebody can look that up while I'm talking to you right now. Somebody gave Matt Flynn massive dollars. And it was because he came in for Aaron Rodgers and he threw for over 500 yards. And I think he got like $18 million from the Seahawks. But I'm not sure what the exact number was. And the reason why Matt Flynn never ended up taking over as a major big-time playmaker was because they also drafted this guy by the name of Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson came in and performed unbelievably and obviously is a top-10 quarterback in the NFL. But Matt Flynn got big money based on only a couple of games. So, there is such a desire to find guys who are studs that sometimes we can overreact. And you guys are telling me that he got $20.5 million guaranteed basically off of that one game. Now, he could have turned out to be great, but what I'm saying is I hate rewarding quarterbacks off of limited sample size And Jimmy Garoppolo has not actually played that much in the grand scheme of the NFL. And if you look at the NFL, what they're great at over off seasons is going back and looking at your film and figuring out what you can't do 
and making you prove that you can do that. The NFL is a show me league. So that to me is the uh, is the biggest takeaway. Now you're saying anyway, Matt Flynn got tens over ten million dollars based on that one game, and now Jimmy Garoppolo as the highest paid player in NFL history off of seven games. That's a helicopter dick wager. I'm not going to lie. If I'm the 49ers, I hope that it's justified. If I am the Patriots, I'm thinking, my God. If I am the Packers, I'm thinking, what are we going to have to pay Aaron Rodgers? It's an unbelievable kind of situation.